Welcome back to the channel, I'm Racky Ryan. Today I'm going to be valuing Apple stock and I'm going to derive a price target using my discounted cash flow model. So stick around because you'll want to see what my model values Apple at. Also, don't forget to subscribe. The majority of you are not subscribed. It is free to do so and I'm going to uncover undervalued stocks for you. So by now, if you are unaware of what Apple is, just take a look around at all the people that are just looking down at their screens while they're walking around. They might be checking their Apple Watch, they might be listening to Apple AirPods, or using their Apple iPad, or maybe even a MacBook Pro. Apple sells products to people all over the world, and people sometimes find it hard to leave Apple products once they have bought. Also, have you ever wondered how your phone just magically stops working after like two to three years? I'm not trying to start conspiracy theories, but it always seems like I'm getting phased out. I know I could switch to a different brand, but I don't actually really want to do that. And Apple offers 0% APR financing, so you literally can buy your phone with no interest over a long amount of time or until they really just phase you out again. With all that being said, let's value some Apple stock. Okay, so here I have my discounted cash flow model pulled up. As you can see, I've already ran the model, but I'm going to run it again with you guys. Okay, so the way that my discounted cash flow model works is I take the year 2020 free cash flow per share, which is 4.004, I enter it. I take year 2015 free cash flow per share, per share which is 2.96. And that gives me a compound annual growth rate of 6.42%. Next, I'm going to project a future growth rate. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use the same one from the past five years. The discount rate that I'm gonna use is 7.5%. That is the S&P 500 annualized return adjusted for inflation. I'm gonna come over here and do GDP growth percentage of 3%. And that's going to give me an intrinsic value of 101.57. So the current market price of Apple is 123.16. So I'm gonna enter that into my model. And that's going to give negative 17% upside. These numbers stay the same, so I'm just going to go ahead and enter those. Now, if you are more bullish on the company and you think that they can grow free cash flow per share at higher than 6%, then you can use a higher future growth rate. I think that Apple is going to be able to do that. One of the main reasons why I think Apple is going to be able to do that is because they have been buying back shares of their own stock. And so as their revenue increases, their free cash flow per share is going to increase because there is less shares. So over time, their free cash flow per share is going to be continually increasing. So I'm going to go with a future growth rate of about 9%. I'm going to use the same discount rate, the same GDP growth rate, and this is going to give an intrinsic value of 113.78. Currently trading at 123.16, that gives you negative 7% upside. So theoretically, the stock is a bit overvalued. Now, if you are even more bullish on Apple, you can run a future growth rate at a much higher percentage, something like 11%, 12%. So I'm gonna go with 11%. The discount rate is still 7.5%. I'm gonna use a GDP growth rate of 3%, and that's gonna give an intrinsic value of 124.04. Currently trading at 123.16, this shows that Apple is pretty much fairly valued in the market today. So when I run this discounted cash flow model, I'm not necessarily looking to enter any more shares of Apple stock. So if the stock falls to let's say like 110, 110, that gives you about 12% upside. That is a good margin of safety in order for you to enter. So at this point, I'm not saying that Apple is a buy or a sell. The price target that I'm going to be giving Apple is 114. It is the middle scenario of my discounted cash flow model. I'm going to be looking to enter Apple stock if it falls to 110 or below. Otherwise, I'm just going to continue to hold the position that I currently have. I hope you enjoyed this video today. I am Raggy Ryan. Thank you for being here. See you again soon.